Okay guys, as promised, I'm going to do a makeup tutorial, a really basic one. It will probably take you under five minutes. So the products we're going to be using today, it's good to do it in an inexpensive way. You don't have to use expensive products to get a good result. Now, for example, before we moisturize, it's good to put a bit of hydrating serum on the skin. This is a product called The Ordinary, and it's the Hydronic Acid 2% plus B5. Hyaluronic Acid 2% plus B5, just wanted to say it properly. I also have my MAC Prep, Prep and Prime Hydrating Serum. So those are two examples. So I'll just pop some serum. You can use it with your fingers or just with a brush all over the face. Any um, ingredients such as hydronic acid or any chemicals, if you do have microblading or tattoo on your eyebrows, avoid those areas, please, because that will make the tattoo fade and also discolor, which we do not want. So pop that on the neck as well. Now, once we've done that, we are going to use um, our Cancer Council Face Day, Day Wear Moisture Matte, and that's in a color medium. So I'm just going to pop a little bit, probably about just over a pea size. On the back of my hand and I'm going to mix that with my Rodin and Fields Radiant Defense light foundation so this is a really light coverage so I'll probably put just a little bit about half half of each product now as I mentioned earlier um, the nude by nature I think it's number 19 brush this is fabulous because it really blends the product into the skin making it look like an airbrush finish so you just dip the brush in pat it in in circular motions you can get right in there and buff it all in so go into your eyelids because we've got a little bit of blue in there from our veins see how you can just brush it and get into those nooks and crannies over the lip don't forget your jawline and go just underneath and a little bit into the ears. Okay, next side. So just in a circular motion. Okay, and then into the eye, underneath, a little bit into the ear and underneath the jawline. Okay, then we're going to do our forehead. So I just go side to side. So I can go just above my eyebrows and I don't need to, we don't want to cover any tattoo on the brows with makeup because then we cover the whole tattoo and we don't want that. So then if you feel you need a little bit more in certain areas, just grab some more product and buff that in. A little bit of redness there. Okay, so now we've got a light foundation with a um, tinted moisturizer all over the face. Once we've done that, let's go to the brows. So just grab your spoolie on the other side of your eyebrow pencil and just brush your eyebrows up. Starting from the bottom, just do a little line underneath and you basically create a little stencil on the bottom, little stencil on the top, going into the arch, round off that arch, and go down into the tail. Then just do tiny little hair-like strokes throughout the whole bit of the brow. If your tattoo is starting to fade or you don't have microblading or cosmetic tattooing on the brows, then blend that product all the way through the eyebrow hair and brush down and up so that the borders of what you've created is really soft. This is a very, very natural look. Repeat on this side, so just do a border on the bottom. I've got more here underneath, so I don't need to concentrate as much on that. Border on the top and round off that arch. And then tiny little hair strokes. This is where I'm missing hair here. And my tattoo is starting to fade. Blend that all in. Making sure the edges are really soft. If you need to go back in, 
to touch up anything, do so. Once you've applied your eyebrow pencil, you can grab your Mia Brows Clear Brow Gel and just brush up your hair straight up like this. And this can cover any gaps that you may have throughout your brow. On the other side, brush up. And this will allow your eyebrows to stay straight up all day and look very groomed. Cool. So once that's done, what I like to do is grab a cold pencil and just see how I've already got just a very slight um, under eyeliner tattoo there just for when I wake up, it just pops the eye. Sometimes just on the very corner, I like to just put ply. Just a small amount, three quarters through the brow. I don't go all the way into the inner corner. I just do the outer corner. And that just gives a bit of pop to the brown of my eyes. Now you can, if you want to, grab your eyelash curler and just press three times. You can go out a little bit more and then do it again and i don't do this every day but sometimes i do press go out a little bit more press okay a bit of fluff on me okay so now i've got my nars mascara now this is a trick on how to apply mascara brush off the um tip or the product make sure there's not too much product on there so i'm gonna do the mascara face with the mouth open we're trying not to do that so get to the base of your lash, wiggle, wiggle, side to side, and then brush up. Wiggle, wiggle, brush up, wiggle, wiggle, brush up. So I do the outer corners first, and then I come to the middle, base, wiggle, wiggle up, base, wiggle, wiggle up. And I like to pull here just gently and get to the inner corners, wiggle, wiggle up. And then I like to make sure that they're separated so I'll just see how I'm just going through there and separating each lash with the tip. Then I like to go to the bottom lashes and just literally pop a blob there. And then I'll go here on this side and just do the bottom left corner, my left. Then you get some more product, wipe off the ends, start on the other side. So outer corner, wiggle, wiggle to the base, pull up, wiggle, wiggle, pull up, wiggle, wiggle, pull up. Do that to the center of the eye. And the inner corner. Okay. And then just make sure they're all separated. Okay. Just put a little bit more where you feel you need. Once I've done that, sometimes what I like to do is, for example, Natio has a beautiful bronzer. And I'll grab a dense brush and I'll just pop a little bit in there. Now, there's two ways of doing bronzer. You can do it from your cheekbone or you can do it from this side of your ear, see here, here to here. That's more of a contouring one. I like to do a bit of a contouring one. So I start here, this part of my ear, and just go backwards and forwards. Backwards and forwards. Then go into like a C. See that? Into your temple and hairline. And then go down into your jawline. <coughs> Chloe, you're doing so well. You haven't barked yet. Let mummy finish this video. And other side. So from this part of the ear, back and forward, back and forward, go into the hairline like a C, into your temple and almost this part of the forehead. And drag into here and into, it's almost like an E, one, two, three. Okay. You can pop some of that on the nose, top of the cupid's bow. There we go. So that's a really simple and easy way. You can put a bit of blush here if you want to. You can even go back in with your bronzer. Smile. See those apples of the cheeks? Just press it in there like that. 
then you can put some lip balm. I don't like to do eyeshadow. I've got hooded eyes, so I just like to lift that a little bit because I've already got some eyeliner on the top from um, Cosmetic Tattooing. So there you go, guys. That's just a really quick and simple tutorial for today. I'll do some more full-on ones later, and I'll show you some more products um, where you don't have to spend a lot of money. Lots of love.